Okay, Splatoon 3 is real, and I could not be more excited. We might not know a lot, but so far what we've seen has been absolutely amazing. So I'm going to do what any sane Splatoon YouTuber would do, and milk it for content. And also just talk about it, because I want to talk about it. Anyway, I'm so glad it seems like they're changing up the gameplay a bit. We get new spawning, and we get new movement options. It just looks all around great. I have a feeling a lot of the new movement options are gonna become mechanics that you just can't go without. And the new spawn points are also great because you get more freedom to choose where you want to go right away. Plus it also means you're not easily gonna be able to get spawn camped, which is always good. And then there's also the new weapons. We got the new bow, which is awesome. It shoots free things of ink, which is gonna be really good, I think. Plus we also got redesigns for so many weapons. I mean, look at the new blaster. I think most of them just look so much cooler now. Okay, side note, because I forgot to put this in when I was first recording, but we got new specials too. We got a Motai Stingray, we got a new Inkzooka, we got like a Crab, I think? And then they said that they're gonna have revamped specials from Splatoon 1 and 2, which will be great to see which ones we get. And it's kind of hard to tell in the trailer, but they look a bit more powerful than the Splatoon 2 specials and more on Non-Rifter. Old Splatoon 1 specials that could really change the game. We got a new stage too in what looks like the desert, and so far it looks really cool. You got the platform in the middle like Blackberry, and you just got a wide open area. It looks pretty big too, which is also a plus. And then speaking of the desert, we got the intro sequence of the trailer, which I think shows off the single player, or at least I hope so, because it looks really cool. It's only showing one path really. But it looks really open, and if it stays like that, that would be so much cooler than what we've got for the last two single-player campaigns. Also, France is dead. Well, anyway, even if the single-player is only kind of as good as Octo Expansion, that's still really good, and I'd definitely like that more than another Octo Canyon. Also, I don't know where it fits in, but there's the train, and I mean, I think that's really cool. I just really like the music. Oh, and speaking of music, we got a new remix of Splat Attack, and that's always good, even though this is, like, the third time they did that. And then we got so much more customization, like new hairstyles, new eye colors, we got more pants. But anyway, the new hair color is just really cool. I really like how they finally made it a bit more multicolored instead of, like, blue. Now we got some blue on yellow highlights. We also got orange on blue. And they just look really good. I'm surprised they didn't have that before because they just look so good. And then with that, we got multicolored eyes. And it looks like some of them don't even have black pupils. I think one of them is red and one of them is blue. And that's just cool, although I don't know if I want to use it in-game, who knows what they'll look like. But it's always cool to have more options to do stuff like that. You also get to customize your little, little Salmonid buddy, and I don't know what they're for, but they're cute, so let's go for it. And as a kind of side note, I think the new clothes are really cool, especially the one you start with, I think. It's definitely a new style that isn't in the other games. And we also got a new lobby in a place called Splatville, which is like the chaotic city in the Splatoon universe, I guess. And it just looks so big, and I hope you get to explore it a bit more than you could the square. And even if you can explore too much, I just think it looks more visually interesting than any of the other lobbies we got so far. I mean, leading up to the battle lobby, you got a huge set of stairs, and that just looks great. You got a what looks like a shrine on the left of it, and you got so many shops that I hope you get to go into. Anyway, I just hope they manage to get a unique identity for Splatoon 3, considering it's on the same system as Splatoon 2. I think right now it definitely has, but let's just hope they can go add more. I mean, we don't even know what happens like, the old maps, or the old modes like Salmon Run, are they coming back? Or are we gonna get new ones to replace them? And then here's to hoping that Splatfests are actually good this time. Also, France is dead. 